All right, here we are, 68 Cadillac convertible, doing a thorough cut and buff on this car, taking a kind of so-so averagey kind of paint job and turning it into something that it's not, which is uh, making it look really nice. So here is a before and after section. So what we're gonna do is show the orange peel, before and after, clarity, etc. And keep in mind, this has not been with the final polish yet. This has the blue on it or no? It hasn't had the 3M blue on it yet or fine pad. So this is uh, not even where it's gonna end up being, but you'll see it's a magnificent change. All right, here is, a, uh, let's see. So what I'm trying to do is show you, this is a skylight that we're looking at here, all right? And an LED light fixture, all right? That we're looking at up in the ceiling here. So I'm using that to show how clear the clarity of the paint. So right now, what you're seeing is just a, a lot of orange peel on the surface, which is refracting the light and making the fixture look like just a white blob there, sort of. And same thing here with the skylight. If we look at the edge of the skylight, you'll notice this is a lot of orange peel on the finish. So it's kind of blurry. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here. So this is a general look at the paint, okay? It, it looks, you know, it has a shine to it, but the clarity is not there, right? So again, I'm gonna zoom in. And if we, if the camera will focus, you'll notice that there's just that texture in the paint. And that's what makes the image look blurry. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side here. This has been cut and buff, and all of a sudden, you can see the individual LEDs in the light fixture above. The phone is having a little bit of a hard time focusing on that. But you can see the clarity, the gloss. See the LEDs here? This is the light fixture that's here we use. I come over here, and we try to do the same thing, and you notice it's just a white bar, but there's no clarity of each individual LED. Come over here, and all of a sudden we can see each individual LED. So the gloss is just amazing on this side now. Super wet, shiny finish to this. Very clear, sparkling. And then over here again, we have this dull, foggy look. Again, look at those LEDs over there looking really clear. The reflection of everything that's on the cart. Come over here. See the difference here and here the clarity of the individual LEDs. So it's very striking. So it's looking very shiny, very glossy, very clear image. The whole side is looking totally glossy now. Just very shiny all the way down. Look at that gloss. Very mirror image of the hillside over there. Even though this is a very extreme angle, you can still see the, the texture of the hill and the cars driving by that yellow Hummer or something like that very easy to see it so it's very glossy now very very glossy clear image look at the reflection in there you can see the, the white jug in the image here all the different compounds we use um, it's just a white mirror basically now we look over here and this side is much more dull not vivid not crisp not clear so it has a sheen to it, but the images are blurry again. So the culprit really again is just orange peel. That texture you see there around the image, around the light fixture. That texture is your nemesis. So we sand that all out, sand it smooth, and then the, the fixture, the oh, any image you see won't have this a uh, cloud around it. I'll try to get in there and really show it. You can see that the edge of the light fixture is just that. Uh, you can see the transition between it's not a light fixture, the skylight, I should say. But that orange peel texture is what's causing the issues. I'm trying to get the camera to focus here. You get the idea here. 
one last visit of it the edge of the image and here's how you can see the individual LEDs although the camera's having a hard time focusing on it you get the idea you see the individual LEDs up in the ceiling and in here you can see all the dirt on the skylight and defects on the skylight it's, you can actually see everything that you see this way when you look at the skylight here all of that stuff that you see on top of the skylight is now able to be seen when you're using it the, the trunk as a mirror Here's hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it was a little bit long, but I want to be thorough so you can really see what we're talking about. Thanks for watching.